started yet. What is happening right now? Fam, I can't see the chat right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is my first time live on the YouTubes on a mobile phone. What's going on here? What are we doing today? First of all, I'm gonna start opening packs that are not for Jimmy Fantasia Bunko because I wanna get a feel for where my hands are gonna be throughout the stream, what we're gonna be up to. Fix this camera angle. Got a very professional setup here with my iPhone Pro. This is gonna be so sketch. There we go, I got chat now. Acing Tennis, what is up legend? All right, let's get our boxes front and center. Very high production thing going on here. We got some Persona 5 going on. <laughs> we got my wife in the chat. We got four viewers. Okay, let's check this out. What up, Philip? How are you doing, man? So we got some quintessential down here. Bless your pulls. Gerardo, what is up, legend? You know, I want to just give a major shout out to Lunchbox, 3-6 Cancel, uh, the other torchbearers of Weiss content on YouTube. I think uh, you guys have motivated me to think less about the production element with Weiss and more so about just getting on camera and talking about this thing that we all like. So... You know, this is gonna be super toned down today. We're just gonna open some boxes, look at some cards. It's gonna be awesome. What should we listen to right now? Persona 5? We're early, we can figure this out. Here we go. Why do I keep getting all the alternates? There we go. All right. Days when my mother was there from Persona 5 Temple. We're gonna open our first pack of Quintessential to get warmed up. I'm gonna let chat pick the box, obviously. God, I love this set. It's just so pretty. And I really feel like it harkens back to the show as well. Like, there's certain sets of Weiss that I, I can actually get the essence of the show from the cards itself, themselves, and Quintessential is one of those. Best Girl, Nino, Miku, Questioning Gaze, in Yukata, Making Curry, and the rare One Step Forward, Ichika. Look at that. You guys see how I like naturally drifted to the right? <laughs> this is this is the reason why. <laughs> this is the reason why we're doing the tester. Yo, on the face cam, I wish I could. I need to get a mirror for this. I need to get more serious about this and act like a content creator. I will soon enough. I'm working, I'm taking a break from social media actually in the middle of January. And that entire break is gonna be dedicated to making my shooting space less about TikTok, where I've been, you know, publishing content, more about YouTube, more about Twitch. And uh, that's gonna be what I'm gonna do in January. So hopefully we can get things like face cam, OBS, professional mics, and everything that we need to make a stream like this more palatable to cold audiences. Cause frankly, I think why Schwartz would be about a trillion times bigger and more hyped if people just saw this stuff being done at the level that people do other games, you know? Uh, I honestly, in my opinion, Why Shorts is one of the most exciting things I've collected uh, in years, like five years. It's like my favorite thing to do is to complete my binders, so yeah. Okay, guys. We're not, we're not to five o'clock yet. To, okay, so we got... <laughs> I'll do a shot. Dang, man. Should we get loose in here? Should I get a glass of wine going? Card quality is so much better. Edmund, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. It's just, I mean, a lot of people, you know, it's, they go, a lot of people were like, you got two black labels in one submission. It's proof that, you know, a content creator gets favored. And I'm like, no, it's proof that 
Japanese card companies take more pride in their production and that they spend more time making sure that their product doesn't suck on arrival. I, it's, I mean, to that point, one of my friends who has no social media at all submitted eight cards and four of them were black label. Was that because he's famous? No, he's not even famous. So obviously they're doing, so there's something in the water over there at Bushy Road. <laughs> God forbid people start grading Cardfight Vanguard. Just gonna be nonstop black labels forever. I got three black labels and a 20 card submission and I'm a random Joe. Yeah, Philip, I don't think you have a real profile pic on any social media. You are literally the phantom of Y Shorts. Opened the JP box last night, got an SP. Let's go, what'd you get? I want to hear what you got. Sorry, I'm making you guys wait. Sorry, I'm making you guys wait. I'm going to be opening these packs because I want to make sure that uh, it looks good once we're opening the real stuff because obviously the real stuff is uh, kind of expensive and you get kind of one shot at this. Unless we get the SP or the FBR, then we will be opening a second box. I don't like how the comments disappear because I'll be focusing on the actual video itself and then a good comment disappears. <laughs> yeah, bro, you're the Phantom of the Opera. No one knows what you look like. You appear in the rafters. Everyone's like, who is that guy? He's kind of cool. Maybe he's kind of weird. We don't know. Chief of the Orcs, Lilpalin. <laughs> He's such an annoying character. Subtilizer, Gabriel, worst villain ever. Roni, and, oh, let's go. I'm sorry, the rare, double rare, and SR Alice's from this set. I have, I've actually just collecting the rares and the double rares and the SRs because Alice cards are so beautiful. Pig bro. Uh, he's just such like a cliche character. It's just like, so like, you know, the second you see him, he's going to have a change of heart. You know, he's going to, won't spoil what happens. You just, you, if you've seen more than three anime, you just know where that guy's going the second he opens his mouth. Where can I buy a case of Weiss? Local game shops. Um, there's a ton of great sellers on the Weiss Schwartz Global Facebook group. I buy a lot of stuff from there. Um, yeah, man, there's a, there's a couple resources. It's not as widely available yet as Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or Magic the Gathering, but I'm seeing it in more shops and it's really exciting. <laughs> Don't slam like that. I like how I'm talking about cliches and all of us are here because I'm going to open the ultimate etchy tribute <laughs> box of all time. <laughs> oh boy. Like le legitimately Kadokawa and Fujimi Fantasio Bunko is just like the supreme studio for etchy anime. Like I'm trying to think of another studio that does it as well. Just fan service on fan service on fan to the point where you're like, are they being ironic right now? Like, come on. All right, chat, we're getting close. We are getting close. <laughs> High school DD is pretty much a hentai. You're not wrong. Don't worry, guys. We'll get there. We'll get there. Look how thick Pikachu looks in this silhouette. Unreal. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. There's a surprise planned. There's a surprise planned. I'm putting out a bounty on this opening. If we pull an SP or an FBR in the box that you choose, we will open a second box of Fujimi Fantasia Bunko. If we fail to do so, we're going to open another box that um, I'm not going to say too much. I'm, I'm just going to say this is going to be one of the few times this box is opened on YouTube in 2022. So if we miss, we end a second new set. And if we hit, we open two boxes of Fujimi Fantasia. Trying to buy a case of Quince. We are opening the bunny girl in the back. Acing tennis. I wish I was that big of a sicko. 
if I had a second box that I could replenish my master set with, I, I actually would. But because I don't have that second box in my possession and the only one for sale is two grand, probably going to take it easy. Kit's so bummed he has to go down for a nap. <laughs> my son is in the other room playing with my wife. He knows it's nap time. He knows he's got to go down, but he's fighting. Oh. I can't wait for this. All right, I'm going to make this easy. I'm going to warm you guys up. The case of quince right now is probably like 1,000 to 1,100, but chat, let me know if I'm wrong. Get ready. We're gonna make this interesting. We're gonna do a choose your character. We got Leafa, Pig Bro, the worst villain ever, or Alice. So I want you guys to decide until five o'clock what we're opening up. Yo, the first person, the first person to finish the Quince Master set is gonna be such a G, dude. That set is amazing. And then if you just wanna be a wise god, finish Hollow Life. In English or in Japanese, doesn't matter. You would be a god in the community. All right, guys. All right, guys, we got Leafa, we got Pig Bro, we have the most annoying villain in anime history, and we have Alice. Yeah, Bro God indeed. We got Leafa, we got Pig Bro, we've got the most annoying unreasonably OP villain in anime history and Alice. Pig bro and Leafa. What happened to the fifth box? Edmund, I actually traded the fifth box to complete my slime volume one set. So my master set of slime is finally complete because I traded that fifth box. MXL, what is up legend? How are you doing? Chat, if I'm not responding right away, apologies. The chat disappears right away. It's pretty annoying. Bought my first three boxes of Data Live. Terrible Spirit Crew Me. Wow. Unreal. The annoying guy. We have one vote for Gilbert. <laughs> Pig Bro guaranteed FBR. Hey, I'm going to ask my wife to help me keep tabs on this. We are almost at 5 o'clock. G, can you let me know which box is getting the most votes? Lewis, what is up, legend? Thank you for being here. Guys, I'm nervous about this. I am so nervous about this opening. I, I like legitimate, and, and if you're just joining us now, if you're just joining us now, if we miss an SP or an FBR in the first box, we are opening a second set, and I can guarantee you there will be fairly, fairly real. Uh, there's not gonna be, real scarcity of this box being opened in 2022. If we miss on this box, no SP, no FBR, we're opening another crazy set. All right, guys, we're getting dangerously close. We are getting so close. We're turning up the music. We are turning up the music. We're with Futaba in the pyramid right now. We're running around. We got the protagonist. We got Ryuji. We got Makoto. We're SPR and FBR hunting. Oh my gosh.
Oh my gosh. Play some weeb music. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? It's five o'clock. Let's go. Pig bro is leading for sure. Wow. Wow. It's going down. Yo. Wow. No way, Allah. What is up, bro? We voted. Y'all spoke. Pig bro, he's our man. He's the one that you guys chose. Can I get a wow in the chat right now? Hold on. I need that a little louder in the chat right now. Y'all hear that? Wow, the pig bro. Dude, this is insane. I can't believe we're opening this right now. All right, we'll turn off SAO. You know what it is. We'll turn off SAO because we don't want to get taken down. Risa got too big. We'll go back to Persona 5 because it sounds like elevator music and YouTube never hears it. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube has no idea what's happening when I put Persona 5 on. They think it's elevator music. Here we go, guys. I can't believe we're about to, this is really about to happen. All right, fam. We got Madarame's temple coming out in the background and we are really opening this. Holy. All right, I'm getting the other boxes out of the way. I'm so excited about this right now. Oh my gosh. The next time we do this, I'll have a face cam. We'll have a more official setup. It'll be more palatable. All you guys with ADHD like me will be like, man, this feels good. <sighs> All right, Sam. Where the hell are my scissors? Oh, poor planning. All right, we're just doing it. We're just doing it. All fingers. All fingers in one of the grail boxes. Hate to see it. <laughs> oh my God, it's happening. Oh my gosh. All right, I want to see predictions. I want to see predictions right now. Oh man. All right, so anybody who's watching this that's not actually familiar Fujimi Fantasia Bunko is a light novel publisher under Katakawa Media Conglomerate in Japan, right? They were Katakawa Shoten, and then they merged with Duango. Long story short, there were some legal things. Then in 2020 or 2019, they're now just Katakawa. Lots of anime, lots of, you know. There are over 15 titles smashed into this box. 15 different anime insane. I couldn't even keep track of everything. High school DD, data live, is this a zombie, students council. I mean, there's so many different sweet animes. SR only dead box. There's a possibility. Here we go. We got the beautiful swordsman PR. Katakawa is different. So Fujimi is actually owned by Katakawa. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my God. Oh man. I'm gonna keep the packs on camera so that y'all can see them. Oh, all right, pack one, guys. And if you've never opened Weiss before, you can get a max of two foils, right? And uh, we hope that we get two foils. We hope that we can fade the SRs 
and we hope we can fade the triple rares and we hope we can skip straight to the FBRs, the SPs, etc. If you guys are watching, drop a like. It really helps, apparently. We are on pack one. Can we just one pack magic this right now? I mean, just let's just get it out of the way. You guys chose pig bro. Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Holy cow. And I said this on my Instagram. I'm going to repeat this again. This is not the most family friendly box in all of white shorts. So if you have young ones watching, this might not be the live to watch. Oh my gosh, dude. This is so, dude, the artwork in this set, anybody that completes this set is a, is a is a legend. Oh my gosh, I saw the hair, guys. Did you see the hair? <laughs> when I saw the hair, it was the emotions. <laughs> oh my word. All right, we got our first rare reward time Riaz. Let's go. That is amazing. Setting that off to the side. Oh my gosh. Can we get there? Can we get there? Wow, we got six likes. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Love to see it. Oh my gosh, that artwork is fantastic. The master and servant relationship. If you've seen High School DD, you'll know a little bit about that. Really funny show. Really naughty show. It's an etchy anime. Lots of fan service. Lots of, uh... Lots of DD. Oh, Snapdragon. Believing in the same dream. We got Yuna. Oh my. So our double rare was the Yuna. We got our first double rare. Oh. I can't get over how good these look. I might have to do a binder. I, what are the predictions? If we did get an FBR, if we do get that SP, what are we predicting? What are we hoping for? Obviously, Riaz Grammarie would be uh, the over the rainbow magic pull. But uh, what do you guys think? Would love to see Kurumi. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you like insane? All right, we got Toka, the rare and irreplaceable daily life. You find words like irreplaceable that just land in so many different Y sets. I wonder what the reasoning is for that. Irreplaceable existence, my Sakura Jima. Irrepla I, I'm pretty sure there's an irreplaceable Sakura Mato. There's so many of them. Oh wow, this pack does not want to open. Do these only have one hit? Uh, I wouldn't call, it's like a maximum of two foils, right? So we could get one SR, one triple rare, one triple rare, one SP. It's crazy to think that there's over 15 different titles in this one box. Oh, it's the rare, the rare Sarah. And now what I do when I open these boxes is I secretly pray not to see <laughs> the SRs and the triple rares because I'm hoping that I can fade and get straight to the FBR or the SP. I can't tell you how many times I've opened a box and gotten the SP within like three packs like real quick. So I just, I'm, I get spooked. Phil, is that not insane? Like it's irreplaceable existence, everybody. There's irreplaceable existence, Kurumi. Irreplaceable existence, Shiro. Oh my gosh. 
I'm sweating, not just because of the heat. Whoa, we got some card damage. I've, I don't think I've ever seen card damage on a Wise card before. Oh, guys, I think we got a foil. Oh, my God! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! The Sistine SP! We are opening another box! We are opening another box! And look at this, guys. I saw card damage on the back card. Look at that card damage. I thought it might be the rare spot. Oh! Pig bro. Pig bro. Pig bro was the one you guys called it. I, I don't even know what to say right now. I don't even know what to say right now. Hold on. Yo. Ho, 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 ho. Y'all. Y'all said pig bro and it happened. We, we actually do this for a living. Thank you, ITT Tech. No more living from paycheck to paycheck on the Alex Hodges YouTube account. Oh my word. I can't, Jason, thank you so much, legend. At MXL, thank you. Are you kidding me? Guys, this is kind of a blessing and a curse because you know what happens now is I'm like, I want to complete the set. And uh, I'm pretty sure there's seven SPs, five FBRs, and a ton of expensive SRs and triple rares. Bruh. Bruh. Hold on. We got to make it official. Oh my God. Oh my God. Honestly, it won't feel special unless one of you guys say that I faked it. I want someone in the chat going fake. It was planted. You can tell the box was resealed. He planned it from the start. His wife, if you freeze frame, you can tell she, she shoves it in the box last minute, rigged. I want to see that to know it's real, fam. Make it real for me right now. <laughs> Let's go. You know what's funny? It's like one of the few other, one of the few other, jeez. Oh my gosh. One of the few other channels that's actually open Fujimi was uh, Alpha Investments and that guy could not pull a sign to save his life. Let's see our, okay guys, let's check out the centering on this card and try, not bad centering, not great. Yeah, I'm seeing a little disparity on the centering from left to right. It's a little bit more pushed up on the right hand side on our inherited magic talent, Sistine, than on the left. Rudy's doing okay. You know, I'm not starting a GoFundMe for him anytime soon. He's doing all right. All right, we got our first Sistine. Guys, what did we say? I'm gonna let you guys vote. Do you wanna see more Fujimi Fantasia Bunko or do you wanna see another exotic set? I want I wanna see the words more Bunko or more exotic. Are we going Joe Exotic or are we going more Bunko? Let me know. More Bunko or more exotic? Let me know. I cannot believe this just happened. Exotic, more Bunko, Joe Exotic, love it, Sussy Baka. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, are we doing more Bunko or are we going Joe Exotic on the stream right now? I could go either way. I cannot believe this just happened. <laughs> I'm gonna ask my wife. She's gonna be the tally master since your chat disappears for me. Super sweet function of this very 2022 app, YouTube, where I can only see the chat for 10 seconds. Sell the rest of the packs. Oh yeah, guys. I'm gonna be the resealer of the century. Here, yeah, tomorrow on Weiss Global, I'm gonna be like, totally not uh, mapped packs for sale. $10 each. Buy five, get one free. <laughs> just get roasted I'm just gonna collectibles guru everybody with these packs now that there's no SP who's ready 
<laughs> Adam Leatherby, the legend, what is up? My guys, all right, guys. Gee, I gotta ask the wife, my wife. What do we, my real life waifu, are we opening exotic right now? Are we going Joe Exotic or are we doing more Bunko Babes? Let me know. <laughs> Let's grade the packs. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll snag one, bro. I should just go full evil content creator and make a promo tomorrow. I'll be like, buy a signed pack by Alex Ketchum. Only 75 each. Are you ready? <laughs> Exotic wins, guys. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, are you ready? Are you ready to go, Joe Exotic? Oh my gosh. All right, guys, I'm going to give you 10 seconds, and I want to hear you say left or right, or you won't say it. You're just going to type it. Left or right. Do it one time for Weiss Global. Do it one time for Philip, the Phantom of the Opera of Weiss Schwartz. Do it one time for Luis, the serial hunter. Left or right? Everybody's saying left. Are we going Amelia hunting right now? Oh my god. I think we're going Amelia hunting, guys. All right, that was quick. I didn't even have to... Oh man, I didn't even have to ask. All right, guys. Sistine is going to go off to the left. Can we do it twice? We've been nice. Can we do it twice with Weiss? Here we go, guys. No scissors. We're just going to do it straight up. Oh, my God. I can't believe this right now. All right, guys. Rip. Holy. Holy. ReZero Volume 1. If you're unfamiliar, if you guys are unfamiliar, ReZero Volume 1. Based on a very fantastic show. I think it's, ReZero is a great show because it's like, it's the anti-Isekai, right? You have Sword Art Online, which is like the ultimate Isekai, where it's like Kurito's super Jesus-y and overpowered. And then you have Subaru, or Barasu, <laughs> from ReZero, who just gets the, the, the poop beat out of him. He gets the glizzies beat out of him for two seasons straight. He's remind exactly how pathetic he is in every episode, which I loved about ReZero. They were like, hey, Isekais, you're kind of lame. We're going to write one that's realistic. Well, not realistic, but you know what I mean. All right, guys, what are we getting? I can't believe we just so casually opened this. Are you ready? Card one. Let's go. We got Beatrice. We got Biako. Looking good. I can't believe we just opened ReZero Volume 1, guys. I did it with your bravery. Your bravery got me here. Oh! oh. <laughs> Hear that? That wasn't me. That was the that was the air releasing from the box once it opened because it had been closed for so long. All right, do we have predictions? Somebody predicted Sistine, apparently. Somebody predicted Sistine. Can we get there with ReZero? Can we get there? Hold on, let's see what we're trying to pull. I'm, I actually have a great example of what we're trying to pull here. <laughs> My wife just said, this is rad, I suppose. That's awesome. Oh. All right, guys. There's a couple cards we want. Let's see one of them right now. Oh, boy. All right, guys. Let's channel it. We are channeling it. Let's channel her. Here we go. We're going to get there. With the power of the chat and my power combined, we are Captain Simp. We are Captain Weeb. Captain Weeb, he's the hero. Gonna simp down bad in 8K, my bro. All right, guys, we're zero volume one. I can't believe we're open this right now. Oh, okay. 
You know, I'm not typically like the gloves guy, but I am perspirating at a point because I'm so nervous to open this that I might, on another, if I was, if this was private, I'd wear gloves. All right, guys, let's see if I can get an SP that I need from this very, very old set. Does anybody know what year ReZero Volume 1 came out? Holy moly. Can we one pack magic? Do you have a box of sneaker to just flex? <laughs> uh, <laughs> like that. <laughs> ah, I hate this guy. Honestly, this guy almost ruined the whole season for me and then Sino saved it. Here we go, guys. We've just opened a pack <laughs> of RZV1 and we are Amelia hunting. Holy. Ah, uh, Ram. Biako. Anastasia. Smug Look Amelia. And the Bath Time Amelia Rare. That's actually cute enough to save. We'll put that off to the side. So, Brianna Knickerbocker is the voice of Rem. And I had the ultimate weeb fail moment where I assumed that because Rem and Rom, Ram, are twins, that they'd be voiced by the same person. And I told Brianna Knickerbocker, who's the English VA, for Rem, you did such an awesome job in ReZero. And she goes, thank you so much. And I go, yeah, Rem and Ram, or Rem and Rom are like my favorite characters. And she's like, I didn't do Ram. Rom, CD Ram. I just did Rem, my face turned so red at that moment. It was like the ultimate self-own. What I'm trying to say is, look into VAs before you talk to the VAs because you can absolutely own yourself in a way you'll never forget. Shout out to Brianna Knickerbocker, super sweet. Had a great conversation with her afterwards. She forgave me. And we've got that declaration of war felt. And you guys will notice, it's a very subtle foiling, but it is there. Check that out. That looks really good. We haven't seen any SRs yet. Dude, if we get the blue-haired made Rem, I'm just gonna quit the stream. <laughs> it would be creepier if you're able to quote her home address. <laughs> like, in the top 10 things you should not say, that's number one. <laughs> Two, six, four, eight, Lark View Lane. <laughs> She's just like, what? Holy, <laughs> you sing it too, like all innocently, but she's like, that is literally my address. <laughs> wow, y'all are twisted, dude. Y'all simp on another level. I cannot relate. Amelia. Oh, I cannot believe we're opening this set. I got to slow down a little bit. Oh, the double rare half elf maiden. What a cool card. Bruh. Amelia is awesome. I I'm sorry, guys. I'm... I'm going to reveal something that might lose me some friends here. In the battle of Rem and Amelia, I'm Team Mealy all day. I hate to say it. You know, Rem is fantastic. I think I think she's got BFF material written into her. Uh, I love her to death. But uh, Edmund, uh, no, Inori Minase is the voice of Rem and JP, and so that's the that's who... Um, the Y Schwartz would be, or that's who Beckett would be looking at for Y Schwartz. Faded Encounter Barasu. Anxious Amelia. Rem. And guys, thank you for being here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my. Guys, for a split second there. For a split second there, <laughs> I was like, whoop. I went, whoop. Ah, that was crazy. Here we go. No, I I'm not saying that one is better than the other. I'm just saying intuitively, I got to go with Amelia. Oh, Lark, thank you so much, bro. Fam, we are out here opening ReZero Volume 1. I cannot believe that. Five packs in for the SP. Legendary moment. 
Just like, honestly, like whether I was live or not, that is such a legendary moment. I love Roswell, but let's be real. Who sees Hunter Hunter when they see Roswell? Who sees Hunter Hunter when they see Roswell? Come on. All right, we got a rare, double rare. Okay, so we haven't gotten any foils yet, which makes me real happy. We don't wanna see any foils unless it's an SP. That's all I want for Christmas. Here we go. Yeah, Roswell's kinda like Hisoka Light. You know what I mean? <laughs> they absolutely went full Fujimi. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Barasu is the actual worst. You know what? He's great because he's bad, though. Because most people would be bad in his position, and that's what makes ReZero much more palatable to me. There he is. Hey, baby, you called him. We got double the Subaru. Adam's got some birthday. Happy birthday, dude. Are you serious? My man, do you do you turn a new year on the new year? Is that what you're trying to say right now? Are you Jan 2nd or Jan 1? Tokyo Revengers comes out in May. That's going to be a mess. That's going to be insane. It's going to be like that show Chernobyl except my bank account is the power plant. It's gonna be a meltdown until I have Mikey. Okay, here's the thing though, Draken will not be getting the SP. I wonder what that sign card is going to look like. It won't be a sign, right? It's gonna be a stamp. I don't know, I hope it looks good though, because I don't want it to affect the overall quality of the set. Oh my gosh, Anastasia again, and we got the Ram. Yes, Demon's True Form. I hope you guys have all seen ReZero. If you are fans, I, I wouldn't even say fans of Isekai, just a fan of, of anime. I think it's a great show. Watching Barasu get the crap beat out of him is awesome. Here we go. We're almost halfway through the box right now. Yeah, acing tennis. The ending of Tokyo Revengers was uh, a lot. The, you know what? I have not seen how the SPs are going to look from that set yet. Have they released card previews for Tokyo Revengers yet, guys? Let me know. Echidna is the best girl. There, there's no... Okay. I compared Amelia and Rem earlier. Echidna is best girl. There, that is indisputable. And the fact that Echidna got taken to Rebirth and not to Weiss hurt my soul. Oh my gosh. That is a beautiful looking double rare. And you know what I like about this double rare is it's not a screenshot. We got some original art right there. Would you say, what would you say is a good price for FBR Riaz? Okay, so I am such... I've got a lot of sunk cost in my heart with the Riaz, or I don't even know if that's the correct way to put this. I could have gotten the Riaz for $560 from the Weiss Global, or not Weiss Global, it's the Weiss Auction Group. And I walked away from the auction for two seconds because I was at a zoo with my wife and we were on a safari and there's rhinos running around, they're pooping 10 pounds of leaves and we're just fascinated by that. I walk away from the auction and someone outbids me by $1 and they got the card for $5.61 or something. But that card, every time it's listed, buy it now, is like $1,000, $1,500. And so in my head, I'm like, market value should be, you know, $560, $600. But, you know, every buy it now price on it, like if you want a whale, is like 1000 Someone just, yeah, it's like rhino shit happens because we were on a safari. Yeah, I was super, I'm still super salty about it.
That was a great safari though. My wife and I had a great time. Are you kidding me? Bruh. Okay, we, just thumbs up this video for original art for the Y series. In uniforms, Ren and Rom, Rem and Rom. That is, I, honestly, this is fantastic. Oh, Peaceful Life Rem Double Rare, yes. Two back-to-back -back cutie cards, love to see it. For anybody that's never seen these boxes before, what would you guys estimate a box of ReZero Volume 1 is right now? What would you guys think this is? I'm thinking 400 plus for this box. A lot of people are like, why is he freaking out opening this box? It's like, this is a, not a cheap box. I bought it when it was down, but man, these are getting expensive. All right, guys, we have not seen a foil yet. I'm worried we might be running into an SR soon. I hope we don't. I hope we can get straight to the SP. All right, we got a rare, Young Swordsman Wilhelm. Damn, Wilhelm was killing it, dude. So if you guys don't know, Wilhelm in the show is an old man that looks out for Amelia from time to time, and wow, he looks good as a young guy. I'm trying to look like Wilhelm in 2022. That's my New Year's resolution. <laughs> no lie, I thought about opening up the stream with my cat on the table and to like pretend that it that I was doing a collab with um, 3-6 Cancel and like imitate the voice and everything. But then I was like, eh, kind of a lot. Shout out to 3-6 Cancel, what a legend. We got Puck in the mix. Uh, Priscilla's so awesome. I wish she wasn't such a, I don't know. She wasn't so mean. Royal election with Felty. And the Beatrice. Sunset Knoll. Middle pack luck. Guys, I hope so. We are deep and we have not pulled a foil yet. This is feeling a little bit like a dead box. <laughs> Adam, shout out to my mans. He's got my back. Yep, Sassy Baca just called it. She's the worst. <laughs> Philip, 100%. Her backstory is like her overcoming everything in her life. Un un unthinkable challenges, and that's why she's so mean. Ah, we got the unconditional trust rem. No foil yet, guys. You know what's nice about Weiss? Is in Pokemon without without a foil yet, people would be going, resealed, resealed, fake, fake, it's resealed. The whole chat. Resealed, bro, fake, bro, so fake. I'm like, hey, when's the last time you've opened a box? Never, but it's so fake. <laughs> the amount of experts, and I, I say this, experts in Pokemon is just incredible. It's my favorite thing ever. Everything is fake forever. Oh, guys, I think we might have gotten a foil. Let's see. How many re-zero boxes? That 1-1 one, one event is a pretty penny. Soy saucer, thank you. That's good to know. Fake if you pull, fake if you don't. It's all fake forever. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Oh, we got a foil. I think it's an SR. All right, we got our first foil. That is amazing looking. Holy cow. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on. We got to sleeve it. Oh, my. Oh, my. All right, guys. We are getting closer to the end of this box, and we just pulled a foil. Now, it's possible for there still to be an SP, but the likelihood is down now. The likelihood is down, unfortunately. That is the way this cookie crumbles with Weiss boxes. It's possible, but it's not likely. We're going to set Rem in here. That is fantastic looking. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah. The Climaxes are usually triple rares, but not in this set. All right, guys, we possibly have an SR. We possibly 
have an SP. Let's see what happens next. Let's see what happens next. Soy saucer, things changed a lot as Weiss evolved in English. Like rares used to actually not be, have any hollow pattern at all. Um, if you look at like a set like SAO volume one, the rares actually are, are uh, non-hollow, which is really interesting. Way less satisfying than what it is now. Is it possible to get an SR and SP in the same box? Yes, it is. All right, the greatest knight Julius. He's kind of an OG, we like Julius. Oh, guys, we need all the luck in the world right now. We got our SP from Fujimi. Can we get there in ReZero Volume 1? We trusted in Pig Bro. <laughs> Soy Saucer, you're fine, man. I don't need people to be experts to enjoy this. I'm not expecting you guys to come into this being dictionaries. We're just having fun here. Love to see it, clairvoyance, Rom. Here we go, guys. We are in the final five packs. Adam, dad life is fantastic, man. It's been one step at a time. We're getting sleep again lately. Just getting our bearings about us. It's been so beautiful, man. Our son is incredible, just like the cutest guy. He's trying to walk already at four months, which is insane. We're having a lot of fun. He's already the biggest weeb I know. He likes watching anime with me. He likes watching Korean soap operas with me. He's just, he's a legend, man. He was watching me play Genshin Impact the other night. It was insane. Like, he sees Genshin is just like, this is it. That's the thing I want to be doing. He saw Eula and it was game over, guys. Kit saw Eula and was like, yup. This is the game for me. Oh my gosh, I, can't, I cannot believe we're opening these right now. Guys, thank you for being here. We're close to the end now. The odds are stacked against us for a second foil. We'll see what happens. Uh, either way, this is a dub. Crochet and Biako. Here we go, fam. I cannot believe we actually pulled an SP from Fujimi. I, I legitimately, I'm stunned right now. When you buy a bunch of loose boxes, you don't anticipate that kind of luck. All right, Reinhard. The first time we've seen Reinhard in this whole box, that's crazy. All right, guys, we got two packs left. I'll be pumped if we even get, I'll be pumped if we even get another foil at this point. What's the value on the SP you pulled, I think? You know what, with Sistine, I'm not sure. I would assume somewhere like 175 to 250, but chat, let me know. That's like a full-blown like yeet guess right there. I'm guessing 175, 250 range. Chat, what's a Sistine right now? And I'm not even sure if TCG player is like the place to go. Like if you guys have seen a recent sale on Sistine, let me know. I would place it in the cheaper range. The JP is 200. Oh, wow. If the JP is 200, the, the card might be 300, 350-ish. Typically, I see like a, a small premium. Okay, Edmund saying 175. Maybe it is 175. Here we go, guys. We got two packs left. Can we get that second foil? That would be fire. Ah, we got the happy daydream rem. Okay. No sold for ENG. Interesting. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to hold. I'm not. That, that's not for sale. Guys, we're on our last pack of ReZero. We're on our last pack. Thank you so much for being here for this stream. This was intense. We've already been here for 55 minutes. I can't believe it. 
Shout out to the Phantom of the Opera if he's still in the chat. Shout out to Adam. Shout out to Luis. Shout out to all the homies. Okay, the JP is 175. Got it. All right, guys, we're on our last pack. Shout out to Weiss Global, Weiss North America, the Facebook groups that are responsible for like 90% of my collection. Shout out to Reprints. <laughs> Shout out to Silver SPs that help my master sets retain value. Shout out to Lunchbox. Shout out to 36 Cancel. Shout out to Clock Tower. Shout out to Big B. All right, guys. And we've got the rare Angel Smile Amelia for our last pack. We did not get two foils, but we did get that sweet SR, which I'm super pumped on. This is my face right now because we pulled this in our first box of Fujimi. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this happened. You guys were all here. Back centering is fantastic. A little heavy to the left. But I can't believe it. Here's Okay, let's look at our top pulls real quick. Where art thou, Rem SR? I know I put you somewhere. All right, guys. Here it is. I just found it. We've got the Sistine... And the REM SR Climax. There it is. Like that? The Climax SR from ReZero Volume 1. This was dope. Right? REM looking better than ever. You know, REM kind of looks like a Blastoise when you put her on her side. Am I right? Um, I'm seeing the blue hair. Maybe that's like the demon horn back here. <laughs> Shout out to everybody from the Weiss Global Group that's here right now. This was a ton of fun. We'll do it again soon. We'll get some Joe Exotic boxes back in the mix. We'll go SP hunting again. I'm going to be building on the YouTube this year. That's why we're doing this on Jan 2. We want to focus on building up the Weiss content on YouTube in 2022 because, frankly, this is such a huge passion of mine. I never talk about it on uh, Instagram because I feel like people just want to hear about Pokemon all day. So we'll use YouTube to talk about Weiss. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. This is a lot of fun. I hope you have a happy new year and pull all the SPs. I hope your ratios are insane. And if you have any questions, hit me up on Instagram at Alex Ketchum on TikTok, Alex underscore Hodges. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much. We will talk soon. Have a great rest of your Sunday.